Hey, hi, I'm Carl with a K, and my intros have been boring. So I decided to do something about that. I decided to make an intro and um, trying it out. And I'm still looking for ways to jump in, uh, join conversations. And I found this thread, a contest by Dave, the pickup artist. And I'll put a link in the description to it if you want to play along. And he said to show five psych records. And the contest is his push to 500 subscribers, and he made it already. So congratulations, Dave. Um, but psych records, that already felt like it's stretched to me because that's not my usual area. Do I even have five records that'll qualify? I wasn't sure, and, and I wanted to have a definition for myself. What is psychedelic even? Give me some guidelines because um, I like a definition. So I thought of words like trippy, um, that somehow the music, you know, reminds you of being in an altered state. Um, that you know sometimes feels like getting lost in the music, uh, and it's often guitar rock based, but not necessarily, right? Um, but you tell me, you know, help me come up with some some definition of psych. What's your definition of psych? So I went through all my records, well, through Discogs, and it told me that. At least five I have uh, are partly psychedelic, at least. So let's look at them and you tell me what you think. This first one, I'm pretty sure it fits, um, although it, it, it's a little bit different than uh, what you might think of as psychedelic. Uh, but I think that's the intent. It's in, their intent is psychedelic, um, and it's a, the it's the Broadway show Hair. So I've got the original cast recording of Hair from 1968 on RCA Victor. Um, this isn't an original 1968 pressing, but that's when it was released. Um, I'm calling it Broadway on Weed. So, you know, I generally enjoy musicals. Um, this isn't a show that I've seen, uh, but the music is fun. I think I, think I would enjoy the live show. The next one I have is uh, it's Sly and the Family Stone. It's their album uh, Stand from 1969 uh, on the Epic label. Um, and again, it's not it's not uh, fully psychedelic, uh, but it has a little bit of that flavor to it. It's definitely leans more into the the, the rock, the funky rock. Um, I did play through it again to hear, uh, to get a sense of it again, and which is the benefit of doing these, is, is listening back to, to records that I haven't heard in a while. Um, and the one that, when I, when I heard it, I thought, well, yeah, I guess that's psychedelic, that's psych, is uh, on side B, track two, there's a long track, Sex Machine, and uh, it's an instrumental with, uh, it's, it's 13, over 13 and a half minutes. And uh, probably the trippiest part of it is the use of uh, the talk box effect on the guitar. And the, the player, probably Sly, is, uh, is making breathy sounds and interesting uh, uh, vocalizations <laughs> with, the, with the track. Um, so Sly and the Family Stone uh, fits my collection in the, uh, the soul and funk section, but it's definitely that late 60s rock and so it has that uh, that psychedelic flavor to it it's not quite a gatefold um, it's kind of a three-quarter <laughs> gatefold and the next record I came up with is the Chambers Brothers and their album A New Time A New Day from 1968 this one's on Columbia um, and their style is is mostly a bluesy rock um, with some funky flavors and uh, some of it really made me think this might be what if uh, the Rolling Stones and James Brown's band played together, which is pretty cool. And I played through this one to see if it, how it fits the psych uh, category, and most of it not so much, but, uh, but they finally got to it on their last track on side B. Uh, it, does, uh, it does go psych a little bit. It's the track A New Time, A New Day. Um, their big hit on a previous album was uh, the track Time. Time has come today. 
uses that cowbell groove and this one comes back to that uses that kind of that same groove uh, and then um, does extended guitar soloing over that so it does get into that a um, little bit of that psychedelic swirly feel to it eventually but it still it still stays pretty grounded in that groove that's the Chambers Brothers a new time a new day um, I'd also like to find a copy of the time has come the earlier album this next one thinking of psychedelic this one did come to mind and I've showed this one on an earlier video and talked more about it uh, this is by the family tree and the album is Miss Butters and uh, it is from 1968 RCA Victor label and um, this was a project by Canadian singer-songwriter Bob Segarini and the music are, are carefully crafted songs uh, in a baroque pop or chamber pop style uh, the instrumentation is diverse um, and I liken it to something like the Kinks uh, Village Green and Preservation Society album. So if that's something you like, this is quite interesting. That's the inside, and this is the front of Miss Butters uh, by the Family Tree. And it was not uh, banned after this album. They really just kind of did this studio project. And my fifth one is a record I picked up the same time I found Miss Butters. Uh, it was at a Goodwill, and it was not something I was looking for, but it just looked so interesting. I looked it up to see what it was about, and was surprised what it was supposedly worth, um, considering it was a Goodwill record, and it was in pretty good shape. And I decided I had to bring it home and <laughs> at least you know listen to it, find out what it's about. Let me know if you know this one, because I had no idea about this one before. This is uh, the Project Sagittarius and the album Present Tense, which um, yeah, it was also 1968. Uh, this is also a Columbia label. Um, and I found out that it's a, it's a studio project uh, by Gary Usher, was the um, producer, and he's the songwriter. Uh, Kurt Betcher for the most most of the songs uh, and a lot of LA studio musicians um, the the biggest single was my world fell down uh, which actually featured Glenn Campbell on vocals a young Glenn Campbell um, the style of this is also called sunshine pop Gary Usher also uh, wrote some songs with the Beach Boys with Brian Wilson he uh, he wrote uh, he co-wrote in my room and some early uh, Beach Boys tracks and, and so he was developing this sound um, and then he went his own way and he I, this this album is known because it has some feel similar to Pet Sounds and Good Vibration and where that was going uh, the Smile Project that uh, didn't quite come out the way it was intended and all that was going on with the Beach Boys at that time Sagittarius and the album Present Tense and it's quite interesting. It is it is worth listening to. Um, it certainly never hit the highs of the Beach Boys' Good Vibration, um, but you might get some of that feel from it. And those are my five psych albums. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've heard them, if you know any more about them than I do. Um, a couple of those I don't know very much about. And uh, thanks, Dave, for hosting this challenge and this contest. I appreciate all of you who stop by to watch and uh, you keep listening to music. I will go turn the record over.